sin que es. Aleluya. 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 Rescue the perishing. Care for the dying. Jesus is merciful. Jesus will say. Rescue the perishing. Duty demands it. Strength for the labor the Lord we provide. Back to the narrow way, patiently win them. Tell the poor wanderers, Savior has died. Rescue the perishing, care for the dying. Jesus is merciful. Jesus we save. Hallelujah. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verses 12 to 14. Message version says, God appeared to Solomon that very night and said, I accept your prayers. Yes, I have chosen this place as a temple for sacrifice, a house of worship. If I ever shut off the supply of rain from the skies or order the locusts to eat the crops or send a plague on my people. And my people, my God defined people, respond by humbling themselves, praying, seeking my presence and turning their backs on their wicked lives. I will be there ready for you. I will listen from heaven forgive the sins and restore the health and the land back to health in Jesus name. That is a request and a promise from our father. So our Lord God, we have come humbling ourselves. We have come in repentance from our wicked ways. We have come for the forgiveness of sins for our land our nations, our homes, our leaders, our churches, our lives, our husbands, our wives, our children. We have come, almighty Jehovah, in repentance and ask you to forgive us. Cleanse us with your, with your blood and purify us for your use in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, amen. And if there's any things, Father, unknown and unknown, things of neglect, things of neglect, things almighty over that we know nothing about, things of our forefathers, things of the environments, we ask you that you will in the name of Jesus, Forgive them, O oh Lord, and give us a brand new start in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord, for your mercy never fails us. All our days. We've been held in your hands from the moment that we woke up until we're going to lay our heads. We will sing of the goodness of our God. Father, we love your voice. You have led us through the fire. In the darkness night, you are close like no other. We've known you as a father. We've known you as a friend. We have lived 
in the goodness of God. You're a good, good father. That's who you are. That's who you are. You're a good, good father. That's who we are. That's who we are. Papa, you are marvelous in all your ways. You are awesome in all your ways. You are glorious in all your ways. You are perfect in all your ways to us you're a good good father that's who you are hallelujah you are a wonderful father an awesome father an ever-present father father in heaven i will love you we lift your name in all, all the earth. May your kingdom be established in our presence. As your daughters and sons, we declare your mighty words. Blessed be the Lord. The Lord God Almighty, who was an is and is to come. Blessed be the Lord God Almighty, who is, who is, who is forever. Oh, Lord, Father, today we celebrate fathers on earth. But we have one who is the father of all fathers, the father of the fatherless, the helper of the weak, our king and our God. So we declare you, Lord Almighty, as our father, the father of fathers. We recognize your awesomeness in our lives as a supreme one. We declare you as a perfect and excellent God. You are awesome in all your ways. A good, good father. You miraculously woke us up this morning with the gift of life. Your impartial and unconditional love is steadfast and new today and every day. Thank you for loving us as we are. And we want to use you as our heavenly father to connect to our earthly fathers. And we declare over our fathers in the name of Jesus Christ, our savior. And we say that the fathers will take over the positions of the priests in our homes. We declare that every father will be strengthened to gain, to take over the role of leadership, to lead and direct their families. We pray for good health for our fathers. We pray for financial stability. We pray for emotional intelligence over them. We pray for all fathers who do not know you as their father. We come and receive the gift of salvation. They will repent and be forgiven and they will be heaven bound in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hello, everyone. We want to welcome you to the powerhouse hour this afternoon, to the presence of the Father of Fathers, to the presence of the one who has us all in the palms of his hand. Here at PHH, we are ordinary citizens of heaven that are in a premeditated and conscious partnership with the kingdom of God. Our mission is to win souls. And to do that, we create a soaking room experience 
through worship and adoration of our God in a non-religious, non-traditional, and unconventional manner. And as we obey, God promised to draw souls unto himself and to grant us all that we've not asked for. So we gather together by faith every Sunday between 3 to 4 p.m. Eastern time in obedience to the voice of God. So if you're joining us or watching our broadcast at a later day, we pray that you will feel the tangible presence of Jehovah wherever you are. Please like, subscribe, and share our videos to reach the end of the earth for Christ. Every nation touched, every earth changed, and none left behind in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. What a good, good father we have. He's a good father. Happy Father's Day once again to all fathers, to all men, not only if you've got your own biological children, but fathers, as you are living example and you are also mentoring other people, you are a father. But if today you're thinking, you know what, I don't have a father, but you know who is our father? Is Jesus Christ. Is God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. And that's why the Bible taught us that when we want to pray the Lord's Prayer, we should say our Father, because he know that he's the Father that is always there. The Bible said that when your father and your mother forsake you, then I will be there. So happy Father's Day. So no matter what you may be feeling today, I want to tell you that, you know what, you've got God's backing. And when God is your Father, you know what, you can never be shaken because he's got you. Hallelujah. And we are just today, we're just declaring the awesome names of God. And we're just saying that God is awesome in power. You know what? You may be thinking that, oh, what do you mean by power? He's so powerful. Even when you look at the head, even when you look like he spoke the words and the words came to life. Who among us can just say that, does it. Let there be light and there will be light unless if you know that there's light behind. But you just say, you know what, let the, let the blind see. Even I was reading something, even if it's a doctor, the doctors, they have to go to surgery to help that person with their eyes. But our God, it doesn't have to go to surgery. It just opened the eyes of the blind. It made the lame to walk to stand up and to walk. He rose the dead from the grave. He's so awesome in power. In the history has ever been seen, ever been told, there is nobody that is like our God. And that is the God that we worship. And we've come today to declare the awesomeness of God that is so awesome in power. Hallelujah. Praise God. And um, Deuteronomy 10, 17 says, for the Lord your God is God of gods and Lord of lords, the great, the mighty, and the awesome God, who is not partial and takes no bribe. So you can't give God any bribe thinking that, you know what, I can just give you because I've got 10,000. He loves us equally. My sisters mentioned it the other time, unconditional love. So whether you're short, you're tall, you're black, you're yellow, you're white, he loves you. So that is the awesomeness power of our God, that he created you and me, that he's made us to, to be fearfully made. That is the power of God. And also Psalm 68, 35 says, Awesome is God from his sanctuary. The God of Israel is the one who gives power and strength to his people. Blessed be God. And that is the God we've come to worship today. Hallelujah. Amen. Awesome God is so wonderful. Oh, our God is good. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. I don't know what you may be going through today. You may be thinking, where is my dad? You may be thinking, where is my mom? You may be thinking, where are my friends? You may be thinking, why has everybody left me? But you know what? We've got this God that is powerful. We've got this God that is awesome in power, that he can do anything. He can turn sorrow to joy. He can turn mourning to dancing. He can give you a new chapter. He can rewrite your life. He can go 
soul to the past and rewrite it. Nobody has ever done that. I said, let that be 96 days and rewrite the past. But our God can do that. That is the God we're serving. That is the God that is awesome in power. And we we'll sing our song again because we believe in the mighty power of God. That our God is greater. Our God is stronger. He's so strong. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power. Our God, our God, our God, our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer, awesome in power, our God, our God. I just want you to connect to that power, to that awesome power of God. I'll tell you a little story. When, when the king, when he told the three Hebrews, Shebra, Mezak, and Abednego, because they would not bow down to his God, he threw them into the fire. But you know what happened? The son of God had appeared and even the king himself realizes that that fourth person I can see, it looks like the son of God because people can see it when you are connected to God. People can see the awesome power of God in you. They know that this thing has been written up by the doctor, but what is going on? My God has turned it around. That is the awesome power of God. The Bible said that not even a smoke, you know, when somebody has been in fire, you will smell, even when you're cooking at home, you can smell what you've been cooking. Talk less of somebody being put into fire. The Bible said that the king said, no, that is a lie. You know what? Make the fire to be stronger. He made that fire to be stronger. And you know what? Even then they were singing, they were moving. And when they came out, that made the king to say from today, the God of Shedra, Mesek, and Abednego is the God that you will serve because of the awesome power of God. He appeared. So no matter what you may be thinking today, in whatever situation you may be, if you will connect to that awesome power of God and just say, God, I just want to feel your power. What those people are talking about is real. The Bible said that try, test, and you will see that I am God. If only you will connect to that power and know that he is God. He is a faithful God. He came in, the three Hebrew men came out and they were not, there was no smoke. That is something that it can never be, it can never be technology, it can never be anything but the awesome power of God. I tell you another word, when Daniel was praying and the king said, throw him into the den of the lion. You know what the awesome power of God did. He made the lions to be friends with Daniel. The, the lions did not even do anything. In the past, we've heard of somebody that went into the den of lion, and then before he even got down, he was eaten. But this is the awesome power of our God. So our God is stronger. Our God is mighty. He is healer. He is awesome in power. Nobody can ever be like our God. And that is the God that we are serving. And we are declaring the awesomeness power of God today. If only you will connect to that God. If only you say, God, I want to feel your presence. I want to feel your power. Just do something spectacular in my life and then surely you will do it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll bless you, Jesus. Awesome God. Our God is greater. Our God is stronger. God, you are higher than any other. Our God is healer. Awesome in power, our God, our God. Hallelujah, praise God. And you know what? I've got Psalm 147 to read to you. When David was talking, David is somebody that I love. I wonder why God made him a man after his own heart, you know? He's just somebody that always sings of the awesomeness power of God. He always declare when God has done something good for him. He doesn't keep it. He always come back and say, look at what the Lord has done for me. And that kind of person, because he is lawyer, it wasn't because David was a saint. It wasn't because David, 
did, did not sin. He sinned. He committed things. He committed murder, if I may remember. But yet God still loved him. You know what? Because he was able to come to God. And sometimes it's not just, a, just going to God and just asking for things, but just declaring his awesomeness, just declaring how powerful, how great he is. He moves our God because we can't give him gold. We can't give him diamond. The only thing we can do is just to give him praise. And I want to read Psalm 147 and just declare the, um, the praise of God. Psalm 147 said, praise the Lord. How good it is to sing praises to our God. How pleasant and fitting to praise him. The Lord builds up Jerusalem. He gathers the exiles of Israel. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. It determines the number of the stars. That is the awesome power of God. No matter what the people, the experts say, they've been, they've not been able to count the stars. Awesome God. And calls them each by name. Can you imagine the stars? When you go out, you can see almost more than 1,000. And yet our God, he calls them each by name. That is the awesomeness power of God. I don't know the adjective to qualify it, but he, that is the power of God. Hallelujah. He determines the numbers of the stars and call them each by name. Great is our Lord and mighty in power. His understanding has no limit. The Lord sustains the humble, but casts the wicked to the ground. Sing to the Lord with grateful praise. Make music to our God unto the half. He covered the sky with clouds. He supplied the earth with rain and makes grass grow on the hills. He provides food for the cattle and for the young ravens. When they call, his pleasure is not in the strength of the horse nor is delight in the legs of the warrior. The Lord delight in those who fear him, who put their hope in his unfailing love. Estore the Lord, Jerusalem. Praise your God, Zion. He strengthens the bars of your gate and blesses your people within you. He grant peace to your borders and satisfy you with the finest of wit. He sent his command to the head. His word runs swiftly. He spread the snow like wool and scatter the frost like ashes. He holds down his hill like, like pebbles. Who can withstand his icy blaze? He said his words and melt them. He stay up his breezes and waters flow. He has revealed his word to Jacob, his laws and decree to Israel. He has done this for no other nation. They do not know his law. Praise the Lord. Ha hallelujah. That just declare how great our God is, isn't it? He's so wonderful. Oh, Father, we'll bless you. Daddy, we give you praise. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You are God, you are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. You've got times and seasons in your hands. That's the power of God. You come for light out of darkness. You don't need a man to be the God you are. But you have chosen to call me your own. Hallelujah. You are God from beginning to the end. There's no place for argument. You are God all by yourself. Oh, we sing God. You are awesome, awesome. We sing God. You are awesome, you so awesome. We sing God. You are powerful, so powerful. There is no one like you. Our God will sing it. God, you are awesome, so awesome. We say, God, you are powerful, so powerful. 
There is no one like you, our God. You so awesome, you so powerful. You are God by your side. We we'll sing God, God. You so awesome, you so awesome. I see God, you are powerful, so powerful. There is no one like our God. He's so good, he's so great. Our God, he's so wonderful, he's so great. That is the God we serve. He's so awesome, he's so wonderful. There is nobody that can ever be like our God. And so we just begin to praise the name of Jesus. And we just want to begin to declare how great and how wonderful that God is to us. And I begin to declare that, Lord, you are the King of kings. You are the Lord of lords. You are the rose of Sharon. You are the lily of the valley. You are the lion of Judah. You are the lamp of God. You are the way, the truth, and the life. You're the ancient of days. You're the ageless God. You are internal God. You are excellent God. God, you are powerful, God. You are so awesome. There is nobody like my God. You are greater than the greatest, my God. You are mightier than the mightiest. You are my helper. You are my pillar, Lord. You are my shield. You are the I am that I am. You are my defender. You are my redeemer. You are my comforter. You are my instructor. You are my teacher, Lord. You are my restorer. You are my fortress. You are my buckler. You are my banner. You are my strong tower. You are unchangeable changer. You are my advocate. You are glorious in holiness. Father, you are fearful in praises. You are the voice of hope. You are the master builder. You are the master planner. You are the balm of Gilead. You are unquenchable fire. You are unquestionable God. You are omnipotent. You are home in the science. You are the consuming fire. You're the bishop of my soul. You are my heart in all. Father, I give you praise, oh Lord. I declare your awesomeness. I declare how great and how wonderful you are. You are God that is seated in heaven and the head is your footstool. Forever and ever you will continually be God. Even when the world will cease to be, you will still be God. Thank you for the power of God. Thank you for your word, oh God. Thank you, Lord, because there is no one like you. I just bow to your lordship. I bow to the awesomeness power of God. And I just say thank you father awesome god blessed be your name jesus thank you lord hallelujah hallelujah our father he must have been called the imasha shadow to never have sunlight on your face you were content to let me shine, that's your way. You always walk a step behind. So I was the one with all the glory. Where well, you were the one with all the strength. A beautiful face without a name for so long. A beautiful smile to hide my pain. Father, did you ever know that you are my hero, Jesus? And everything, everything I sure would like to be. I can fly, I can fly so higher than an eagle. For oh, you are always, always the be, always the wind beneath my wings. You are the wind beneath my wings. Christ, the wind beneath my wings. You are an awesome God. You are my father. A good, good, good father. 
You are the ruler of the heavens and the earth. You are the great and wonderful God, glorious in holiness, awesome in power. You are my friend, my bestie. You are my chief partner. You are closer than a brother. You are more than enough. You are my saving grace, Lord. You are my safety net, my redeemer, my restorer, and my energy. You are my exceeding greatness. You are my hero, my super hero. Hallelujah. Father, you are the wind beneath my wings, the ones that makes me fly, that lifts up my head, the pilot and captain of my life, the sailing wheels to my way. You are the light that shines clarity to my path. You are my father, my pops, my king, and my anchor, my Lord and my savior. Hallowed be thy name, O God. Your kingdom come. May your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. We celebrate you today. For you are a good, good, awesome, present, loving, caring, forgiving, faithful. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, Father, we bless you. We honor you. We exalt you. We lift you higher today for who you are, for all you've done, for all you continue to do. Hallelujah, Jesus, my King, my Lord, my Redeemer, my upper room, the one who opened the prison doors, the one who said the captives free, hallelujah. The one who blesses me and no one can curse me. The cure to incurable diseases. The one that reversed the irreversible, wonderful, counselor, almighty God, everlasting daddy, prince of peace throughout all eternity uncreated creator, mightier than the mightiest, greater than the greatest, stronger than the strongest, the lion of the tribe of Judah, my boss, my director, my manager, CEO and CFO, my Shiloh, my place of refuge, my ark of the covenant, my true and faithful one, the lion and the lamb, my pool of Bethesda, the name changer, the game changer, the destiny changer, the giant slayer, the mountain mover, the sea divider, the one who lives 99 to come after me, the one who finds and restores that which was lost, my battle axe, my name above every other name, marvelous, gracious, glorious name, hallelujah, the one who has no equal, the one who has no rival, we worship you. You turn my mourning into dancing. You turn my sadness into joy. Hallelujah. My righteousness, my justice, my victory, my alabaster box, my sweet perfume of great value, the enemy silencer, the one who crushed the head of the serpent, the giver of grace and mercy, keeper of promises, the joy giver, the one who registered my name in the book of life, victorious king, risen king, soon coming king, warrior king, the word that was made flesh and dwelt among us, the air that I breathe, the water that satisfies my soul, the food that quenches my hunger. We worship you, we bless you, be glorified, be glorified, be glorified today. Hallelujah to your holy name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord.
Hallelujah, hallelujah. We worship you. We worship you. I won't forget the wonder of how you brought deliverance, the exodus of my heart. You found me, you freed me, held back the waters for my release. Oh, Yahweh, you're the God who fights for me, Lord of every victory. Hallelujah, hallelujah. You have torn apart the sea. You have led me through the deep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. A cloud by day is a sign that you are with me. The fire by night. It's a guiding light to my feet. You found me, you freed me, held back the waters for my release. Oh, Yahweh, you're the God who fights for me, Lord of every victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you have torn up all the sea, you have led me through the deep, hallelujah, hallelujah, you're the God who fights for me, Lord of every victory, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. You have torn up all the sea. You have led me through the deep. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Friends, welcome to our broadcast today, we believe that the Lord is after you. Yes, he wants you back home. He wants you in his bosom, amen. He wants you in his kingdom, everlasting, eternal. He wants to be your father, hallelujah. And we pray that today, when you hear the voice of the spirit of God, calling you, drawing you to himself, that your answer will be yes. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. In Exodus 14.10, it's written, as Pharaoh approached, the people of Israel looked up and panicked when they saw the Egyptians overtaking them. They cried out to the Lord and they said to Moses, why did you bring us here to die in the wilderness? When there are enough graves for us in Egypt, what have you done to us? Why did you make us leave Egypt? Friends, the children of Israel were in bondage. They were slaves in Egypt for over 400 years. They cried out to God during all this time and God heard them and decided to save them from Pharaoh but to display his power, hallelujah, while saving them. God chose a man by the name of Moses to lead them out of Egypt. Moses led them out of Egypt into the wilderness, but Pharaoh did not let them go easily. He pursued them. Sin in our lives, sickness, negative patterns, plans of the enemy, will not let us go free without a fight. We need the power of God to gain freedom from our past and step into our promised land, the place that God 
has prepared for you and me to live in before the beginning of times. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Power is in your name. You step into my Egypt. You took me by the hand. You marched me out in freedom into the promised land. Now I will not forget you. I'll sing of all you've done that is swallowed up forever by the fury of your love. You step into my Egypt. You took me by the hand. You marched me out in freedom into the promised land. Now I will not forget you. I'll sing of all you've done that is swallowed up forever by the fury of your love. Hallelujah. You're the God who fights for me, Lord of every victory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, you have torn apart the sea, you have led me through the deep, hallelujah, hallelujah, you're the God who fights for me, Lord of every victory, hallelujah. Yeah, hallelujah. You have torn up all the sea. You have led me through the deep. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, moving power over our listeners, wherever they are, moving power. And as you did it for the children of Israel, hallelujah, save your children, redeem your children this day from the hands of Pharaoh in Jesus' mighty name. In verse 13, it says, but Moses told the people, don't be afraid. Just stand still and watch the Lord rescue you today. The Egyptians you see today will never be seen again. The Lord himself will fight for you. Just stay calm. I don't know what your Egypt is today, but there's a God who fights for you and me. While we remain calm, while we are standing still in him, the children of Israel were not trained in war. They were not soldiers. They didn't have an army. They were farmers and shepherds. Can you imagine being a farmer, standing against Egypt, standing against one of the most powerful army in the world at that time, friends? Often in life, situations and challenges come our way, you know, came my, my way. And I knew that I knew that in my own capacity, I would be crushed. I wasn't prepared for that situation. My power couldn't match the power of the enemy. But as I surrender those situations to God, and allow him to be my man of war, my great warrior in the battle. I find peace knowing that he always wins every battle that he is in. God wants to fight for you, my friend. When your Egypt rises against you, trying to keep you in bondage, God wants to partner with you. He wants to be your ally in the fight. Will you allow him today? Verse 21 says, Then Moses raised his hand 
over the sea. And the Lord opened up a path through the water with a strong east wind. The wind blew all that night, turning the seabed into dry land. So the people of Israel walked through the middle of the sea on dry ground with walls of water on each side. Our God is powerful. He makes a way where we will not expect it. The Red Sea was a barrier, a limitation to their escape. Even if they knew how to swim, there's no way you can swim across a whole ocean, a whole sea. You can swim across the pool at the community uh, place. You can swim in a house pool, but a sea, just imagine standing before the Atlantic Ocean and trying to swim across. There's no way. Human power could not do it. Human effort could not do it. Human bravado could not do it. It has to be God, most high, the one that we are presenting to you today. The children of Israel, they ran for days and days. They felt like they were safe until they came face to face with that Red Sea. Friends, freedom in our own power is short-lived. We can try to overcome sin, addiction, negative patterns by our own sweat, our own hard work, but unless we cross the Red Sea, we cannot be free. Hallelujah. I had to make that decision 20 years ago to cross the Red Sea. It is appointed on earth that we all, all of mankind, be saved through one man, and that man is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. His body was broken. He shed his blood for you and me. Yes, that is my Red Sea. That is the Red Sea we all have to cross today. Not tomorrow, not in a week, because tomorrow doesn't belong to us. But friends, today is your opportunity to cross that Red Sea. Hallelujah, to accept that free salvation that comes only through the shedding of the blood of Jesus Christ. We all have to acknowledge and accept his sacrifice on the cross in order to be saved. Hallelujah. There was no salvation for the children of Israel without crossing the Red Sea. There's no salvation for you and me without accepting the cross and the shed blood of Jesus. We pray for you today that you will accept the power of the cross in your life today. The cross that sets us free from our past, from our Egypt, from our Pharaoh, and open the door for a brand new life. Hallelujah. A life where God is our leader through the Holy Spirit, guiding us in all truth, peace, joy, and purpose. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We bless you. Hallelujah to your holy name. I'm calling on the God of Jacob, whose love endures through generations. I know that you will keep your cover. I'm calling on the God of Moses, the one who opened up the ocean. 
I need you now to do the same thing for me. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, God, my God, I need you. Oh, God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, rock, oh, rock of ages. I'm standing on your faithfulness. On your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. I'm calling on the God of Mary, whose favor rests upon the lowly. I know with you all things are possible. I'm calling on the God of David, who made a shepherd boy courageous. I may not face Goliath, but I've got my own giants. Oh, God, my God, I need you. Oh, God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Oh, rock, oh, rock of ages, I'm standing on your faithfulness, on your faithfulness. Oh, God, my God, I need you. Oh, God, my God, I need you now. How I need you now. Oh, rock, oh, rock of ages, I'm saving on your faithfulness, on your faith. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we are standing on your faithfulness. Thank you, Jesus. Seated at the right hand of the Father. He came into this world. He died on Calvary Cross. Hallelujah. He went to the grave, but rose with all power in his hands. Hallelujah. Death, sin, hell, the enemy of our soul were all swallowed up in victory when Jesus rose on on the third day. Hallelujah. So friends, will you choose Jesus today? Will you choose the one who is able to redeem our soul? Will you choose the one who alone has the power to save? We are not presenting to you a denomination. We are not presenting to you a religion. We are not presenting to you a school of thought. We are are not presenting to you a philosopher. We are presenting to you the savior of the world, the one who made all things, all things that is walking, all things that is crawling, all things that is flying, all things that is swimming in heaven, on earth, on the ground, under the ground, the one who has the power to save, the creator of everything, the one who makes the day, turn it into night and back into day, the one who makes summer, winter, fall, hallelujah, the creator of January, February, March, all the way to December, back to January, hallelujah, the the one who holds the season and the times in his head, the all-powerful one, he is the one we are presenting to you today. Hallelujah. If you want that power to reside in your temple, if you want that power to live inside of you, friends, 
please pray this short prayer with me. Just say, Lord Jesus, I thank you. I bless your holy name. Thank you for coming after me today. And my answer is yes. I open the gates of my heart to you. Come and be my personal Lord and Savior. Come and lead me out of my Egypt. Come and lead me out of a life of sin. Come and lead me out of a life of bondage. Come and lead me out of a life of addiction. Come, oh Lord, and lead me into the promised land where there's peace, where there's joy. Hallelujah. Where does milk flow in? Hallelujah. Where does honey forevermore for me? Oh, forgive me, Father, for my sins. Forgive me for my ignorance and the wrongs that I've done. But today, I choose you. Holy Spirit, come into my life and teach me how to be a disciple of Jesus Christ. I Thank you, Lord, for dying for me on the cross. And I receive your sacrifice today in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. And friends, if you've prayed this prayer, welcome to the family of God. Hallelujah. Where you have many brothers and sisters, we ask that you will find a Bible teaching church in your community, that you be plugged in, that you will take discipleship course. I'm sure that there are many churches that offer discipleship courses, hallelujah, that you may understand your rights, your new identity as a child of God, and that you will not allow the enemy me to rob you any longer, but go free. Your chains are broken. You have crossed over. Pharaoh and his army are drawn forevermore in the Red Sea. They will not rise up. Be free at last. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus, for your children who have stepped into that promised land today. Father, keep them. Father, protect them. Hallelujah. Let the seeds that you have planted in them today continue to grow into a mighty tree, even like a cedar tree of Lebanon in Jesus' mighty name. Amen and amen. Thank you, Father. Eyes I come into your presence. Past the gates of praise into your sanctuary, till we stand in face to face. I look upon your countenance, I see the glory of your face. I can only bow down and say. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of all praise. To you, my hands are raised. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. As I come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we're meeting face to face. I looked upon your continents. I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, You've been awesome in our midst, mighty God. 
You've been awesome in this place. Abba Father, you are worthy of all praise. To you, my hands are raised. You've been awesome in this place. Almighty God, you've been awesome. You've been awesome in this place. Powerful God, you've been awesome in this place. Powerful Father, you are worthy of all praise. To you, my hands are raised. You've been awesome in this place. Almighty God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Yes, you have been powerful in this place today. Oh, friends, we thank you for joining us today. Go with the power of God. Go with the Lord Jesus inside of your heart this week. Hallelujah. You are no longer defeated. Hallelujah. But you are victorious. Not because of your power. Not because of your might. But because of what Jesus did on the cross for you over 2,000 years ago. Live in power this week. Move in power this week. Speak in power this week. Walk in power this week. Do everything with power this week because the most powerful live inside of you and his name is Jesus. Be blessed. Go in his power this week. Thank you for joining us. Hallelujah.